the first part of the effect that we're gonna be focusing on is this kind of electricity spark that's just going around inside of this orb. To get it done, I sketched frame by frame just a one dot that was moving seamlessly inside of this orb and this worked for me as a guide for the animation that I'm doing right now. It just kind of sparky uh, star shapes that are just shrinking and disappearing frame by frame and I just have to do frame by frame what I guided for myself with that little dot around. I was just a little worried about if everything will go smoothly uh, and seamlessly but it just worked perfectly with onion skin I was able to achieve everything right away. Once I was happy with the result just straight from the sketching I just multiplied this couple times to make a little more things happening inside of my glowing orb. Of course everything had to be shifted around uh, and kind of rotated to not make everything so visually duplicated, okay? The next part was just that spikes, as you can see, which was growing from the center and disappearing back in the center with that kind of rotational motion. And I just drew one and I duplicated it as much as I wanted and I decided to draw one more, just a thicker one, bigger one to make even more variety than just scaling and rotating one. I have a little more flexibility and it just looked a little better with two variations of this effect duplicated all along. Now I just had to play around with my duplicates to find a sweet spot to make everything works as seamless loops and look pretty, pretty cool for the eye. Once I achieved that, I just quickly checked everything and I pretty much knew what will be the next step for this animation. Just a quick uh, setup with glows and blurs to make everything works the way I want it to work. So I kind of have that reddish yellow inside thing and I just copied and pasted this effect all around this glowing orb to have a consistent effect on top of everything. Then I sketched this circle around uh, that container for everything and what I did here, which is the, which is the most uh, intriguing, I guess, part of this special effect, I make everything bigger, uh, like a duplicate, and I used it as a refraction mask to my container. With this thing and frame by frame animation behind this refraction mask, behind all of my animation, I was able to desort this outside, this container of my glowing effect, which is pretty awesome, I believe. I decided to make one more kind of donut shape inside to make just a little more things inside. I, I guess uh, there was just too much negative space and with the refraction mask I was able to play a little more and it worked kind of like a pupil inside of the eye. That's a good idea actually to make animation like a pupil. To make everything visible I just had to play around with some cutters and additional glows to kind of make everything visible and make some extra extra things because 
glows and blurs, likes to multiply and it just not looks very very cool so a little additional colors works perfectly so let's dive deep into this project file and let me show you it in details as you saw on the breakdown I was using this guide to create the base for my animation okay I'm gonna move around with this display so we're gonna see a little more the first thing that I created let me show you both of the things was this kind of animation which I obviously multiplied a couple times as you can see it's three copies one that's following this guide and once I've had it I've added two more the red marks on the timeline means where the loop starts so as you can see those three loops are shifted a little to not make it so visibly duplicated even if it is uh, so the goal is to try it as hard as it's possible to not make it visibly duplicated then I had this part of just a couple small uh, spikes that are, just, that are just rising and hiding okay and I obviously had like a tons of them bigger smaller and the amount of them gave this kind of cool effect and to not just duplicate them over and over I've used apply pack transformation to make a little more of them and the total amount looks like this on top of everything there is a glows and let me break down for you this glows what's happening here let me create new composite what's happening here is I have this on my input and at the very beginning uh, I wanted to use match resize to make it smaller and glow it with a white glow to have a nice white glow inside and to make it a little more sharp I wanted to uh, resize it a little bit more okay with additional minus 5 adding additional glow and with that I was able to achieve just a little bit sharpen thing on the outside as you can see which gave a pretty cool pretty cool effect as you can see the inside of it is cut it with the other glow okay then I uh, used another mass resize and another glow which allows me to give it yellowish uh, kind of contour inside and additionally I added just a orangey yellowy kind of thing around and that's how I made this glow part which I'm pretty happy about because having that white inside and something 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 there that that yellow thing is is a really cool uh, addition instead of just having yellow inside and without this white uh, and this yellow this this white on the border it it went uh, really really cool and the other part with the energy is just made entirely in the same way as you can see cutter 
match resizes and glows. Okay, let's move on. Once I had this, I was able to create two circles. The first one was this, and it's just a circle made with a pencil, and they're kind of similar situation with some match resizes uh, to give it a little more sharpie white in the uh, center of the line and more yellowish reddish glowiness at the edges and that was the first circle and the second circle was this one which is looking uh, pretty weird right now uh, but kind of similar style i was playing around it after i did everything uh, because as you can see i'm using radial blur here and this radial blur gave me this sweet kind of donut uh, soft thing which i liked instead of having this sharp thing okay once i have it i was able to get those two things together this electric spark and uh, those spikes and i connected them together to the composite and what happened i received a slightly bigger thing because i used apply pack transformation and as you can see it's 2.15 uh, of the size as well as the mat resize is 15 so it's slightly bigger than if I would use do those two things as you can see. With this I was able to blur it slightly and there's a funny cool part is blurred by 7 is the funny part this one was refracted with this blur part to make this effect which is pretty insane as you can see uh, it's uh, pretty pretty cool i can do whatever i want uh, to make it more sharpen or whatever but i want to stay with that kind of amount and exactly the same I did with the other part which turns pretty pretty well okay with that being said you can see here a little additional radial blur because I thought I, I'm missing something and it looked like this without it is it's looking kind of like empty I guess all right, with that, uh, that could be the end, actually, to have just this and this and that. But if I would do it, everything would overlap and it would just look nasty. Let me show you. So kind of everything like overlapping on each other and there's really, it's, it's not super visible, it's not separated, all the tiny details are not separated from, from each other. So I had to uh, make to my refraction mask a little bit of cutters from those simple things inside, from those drawings to just separate them, just add a little more empty space between those refraction things and my special effects. With that being said, uh, let's move to it and let me show you how it was done. So there was just two effects without, without, any, uh, without any additional notes. Uh, then there is a one transformed because I use here as I will show you I'm Not sure if the software will allow me uh, 
without those two things. Okay, so I just wanted to have a little more uh, like, again, space inside. So I added one more duplicate of it, just a tiny blurred and transparent to not make it so poppy uh, on the screen. And with that being said, as you can see, here is the duplicate, here is the normal, and here are both of them. I resize it up just slightly. Then this composite is not necessary at this point, uh, but I like to use uh, bitmap composite from time to time to make sure that everything is flat. <laughs> Then I blurred everything with 20 and I added them to my cutters. So as you can see now, uh, with this one, there's actually nothing happening, but on the other one, I added it here just to make sure. Uh, but here, as you can see from here, there is a lot of empty space cut it. And this made actually room for the entire effect here, which you can see it's just inside and it have that tiny little negative space between the effect and the actual uh, refraction thing. And that's pretty much how this file was created. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you can do it on your own. If you will have any question, feel free to just add a comment. And with that being said, thank you, thank you for your support and have a sick day. Cheers.